Okay, so now we have a model. We have our functions labeled, we've constructed it. Now what we want to do is use this model to understand the behavior of this line, which is the tangent of theta. Let's go to Desmos to do that. Yay, Desmos. So here's a model. This is essentially the model we just had. And what I'm going to do is increase z. And in this case, z is just the coefficient of pi. So right now, z is 0.25. That's a quarter. We're at t that equals 1 quarter of pi. So we're at the same thing that we drew here in this model. OK. Now, if I increase this, right, tangent, what does it start to do? It's getting bigger or smaller. Look at that tangent. In this case, tangent is purple, this line right here. You can see it's clearly getting bigger. And that makes sense because not only does it have to happen in the triangle we're drawing, but the ratio of sine to cosine is getting larger. Sine, the y value, is getting bigger and bigger and bigger as we increase tan um, theta, in this case z, and cosine is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So you have a fraction where the, the top part, ta tangent is sine divided by cosine. It's that ratio of the y divided by the x. So we have bigger and bigger y values divided by smaller and smaller cosine values. And that's going to give you a bigger and bigger tangent. But in a more simple way, this model shows you that as theta increases, the length of that tangent line gets bigger and bigger. And in fact, it's going to approach infinity, right? Eventually, once we reach 0.5, like right now, by the way, let's, let's try to find the tangent. Where is it? It's way up there. Come back, tangent. Where are you? There you are. It's already at 30, right? But if we go a little bit more, let's go 0.492. All right, now I think um, what I could do is just say, what is the tangent of t? So let's just watch this for a second. We have the tangent of t, right? What if I go a little bit further, 0.49? Well, look at that. Tangent's now all the way up at 318. Let's see if we can find it. It's way up there. There it is at 318. But let's go further. Let's add another 9. Up. Oh. It's gone up by another factor of 10, another 9, factor of 10, another 9, factor of 10. Every 9 we add is 10 times larger than it was before. We're at 318,000 now. Let's go further. Let's, let's see how far we can go with this before Desmos gets mad. 9, 9, 9. Oh boy, we're getting up there. How far can Desmos? Up oh, there it goes. So it seems about 10 to the 15th. Now 10 to the 12th is trillion, so this is quadrillion. That's right. The tangent, when you're this close to one half of pi, has reached the quadrillions, right? Trillions is 10 to the 12th, so we're quadrillions. I just I got to see if Desmos can show it. I think it can. Isn't this amazing? Our computer's amazing. Isn't math amazing? Look at this. Tangent is way up there. It's ridiculous. Come back, tangent. Where are you? Ah, there you are. <laughs> now, of course, I don't know if Desmos can go further. Can I go further? Let's do an 8. Yeah, it's mad there at an 8. But we can keep getting closer and closer. I put a 7 here. Closer and closer to pi over 2. We're getting close. The, the value of tangent is climbing. And since we can do this in math theoretically forever, tangent will then therefore approach ever larger and larger numbers approaching infinity. Isn't that beautiful? And I say it's beautiful because, well, I'm a math dork, but also because the model supports it, the math supports it, everything fits.